Well, it's safe to say that the Battle of Alberta is certainly alive and well after a highly entertaining affair here tonight in Calgary as the Oilers and the Flames exchanged 11 goals in just the first half of this game. It was 6-5 to five midway through the second for the home squad and it ultimately came down to a big save early in the third period as Jacob Markstrom absolutely denied Evander Kane in a critical moment of this hockey game. The Flames went the other way and Elias Lindholm scored the Flames' seventh of the night. And then it was all Flames from there as they added two more for a 9-5 to final from the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. He played, he played bad. He played poorly. I mean, I think it was nine uh, even strength goals against, right? So, um, what do we have, three power play goals? So, 9-2 at even strength. You know, the media is going to probably blame our goalies, but you can't blame our goalies. You know, hung him out to dry, just... Um, you know, all around poor performance. You know, we've spent the last five weeks or so trying to uh, improve certain areas of our game. And uh, I thought we got away from it tonight and we paid the price. Um, that stings. It's a uh, nine even strength goals against, not good enough. Um, we came into the Calgary Saddle Dome, a team that doesn't hardly give up anything. We scored five goals. That should be enough to win a game. But tonight, it wasn't about what we got; it was about what we gave them. I think it's you know just disappointing because we didn't show up. I mean, it's it's not like we went out there and it was a great game and, and we came on the short end of it. Just we didn't show up. We didn't play well, you know, to a man. It's it's hard to find you know somebody probably had a good game today. It was just uh, poor all around, and uh, and we'll regroup. And in a showcase of leadership, Leon Drysaddle said post game, "Put that loss on me. Do not direct it towards the netminder." Echoing the words of Zach Hyman. And speaking of Drysaddle, the German did pot a hat trick, upping his total to 47 goals on the season, tying Austin Matthews for the league lead. The Oilers get back in action, opening up a three-game homestand on Monday for this TV. I'm Tony Brown.